All right, so for today's video, it's not gonna be super serious, I guess. I'm just gonna be working on three marking the patent. You can see I'm 90.9%, .9%. maybe I'll give it uh, an hour, maybe half an hour, we'll see how it goes. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna be grinding towards the three mark. All right, so we're on the map, Sand River, standard game. Uh, how I'm gonna play this based on their lineup, right? Like they're full of heavies, not a whole lot of medium power. I'm gonna go south. I typically go south on the map, but I think in this case it's gonna be especially powerful. Um, obviously, I'm gonna to have to watch out from their camping prevention units. That's the 207 and the M53. So, you know, we'll we'll see how it goes. I might get clicked. I might have to fall back, but I do have a med kit, so I should probably make that a large med kit too. But it is what it is, I guess. Uh, should probably lower the game volume. There we go. Okay. So, as I go into battle, I typically don't think about it. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, <laughs> I'm just going to go see what I sh can find, I guess. Normally, mediums will pop up to here. So, you know, hopefully I don't get farmed as I cross, but this should be fast enough. This thing is like an FV4202, which is the first tank I ever, like, tier 10 tank I ever 3 marked. Okay. So, I'm going to go up to here. That's going to give me shots. Like, this ridge gives you shots everywhere. So... I'm just going to be playing. Oh, I was hoping he would kill himself. They're bouncing. I didn't know the Patton's armor was so good. The reload is slow. Not used to it. This guy's going to crest. How do I win this? This is awkward. You can see I'm alone, sort of. I've got an E5 behind me. Uh... I don't know what that guy's thinking. <laughs> Already shot, okay. I don't know why he's reload anymore. Why? I, this guy should be dead. <laughs> Normally you can't crest like this without getting your ass kicked. There we go. Perfect. So I was going to use the E5 for cover from this guy. Obviously the E5 can take a hit and not like lose anything, but a uh, bit of a selfish play by me. I'm okay admitting it though. You can see he's getting clicked other than, you know, and I'm not, so I'm happy about that. And this E5 puts us in a tricky situation. So, I have to watch for this IS-4 in the middle. I want to get shots. You can see re 5 is pushing. Um, the reason the E5 puts me in a tricky position is because he's going to be perma-spotting me. So, how did he hit that? That's called luck right there. That's not, that is pure luck in an IS-4. <laughs> Uh, let's just get out of here because I don't want to get clicked from my HP. I've only done 2k damage, so this this guy I feel bad. <laughs> I'm sort of, I don't want to leave this guy out to dry, leave him to hang, but uh, I'll give him the support that I can. I don't really want to kill myself to keep this guy alive though. Obviously that's, that's going to be problematic. They just fucking want to kill me. We didn't penetrate their armor. So I'm backing off because I feel like clickers are going to be, you know, wanting to kill me. The, this guy, his position isn't good. He pushed into way more tanks than he can deal with. And that makes it really hard on the people who want to support him, you know. I, yeah, all right. Let's see if I can help him out. I mean, he, he was, it was inevitable that he's going to die. But I mean, when you push into three tier eights. And they had a type... I expected that Type 4 Heavy to... I should have mentioned it, but I, but I expected the Type 4 Heavy to be coming. That's why I didn't commit. Uh, apparently he's sniping those, so we can start pushing up. I should apologize to the E5. Okay, so I'm going to keep pushing up, obviously. Oh, he's talking shit. I guess I'm not. Sorry. <laughs> I've only done 3.4k damage. Obviously I need way more, but... It is my fault he died. He shouldn't have pushed in. Like, anyways, I won't let it face me. Sorry. Oh, that's a nice car. High school's out. There's a high school near my house. Cool. Now I'm going to keep pushing because they've got, like, a low and shit in their base. Obviously, the more damage I can get, the better. Um, I should have used my hit points a bit more. Like, I think I could have helped out that E5 a bit more, given the circumstances. But, I mean... 
who would expect a Type 5 Heavy to snipe like that? Unless you had XVM, I guess. So as you can see, I did 4200 damage. Uh, I could have done more, but I expected this guy to be way more aggressive, so it is what it is. Um, you know, it's not the end of the world. I wish I had helped this guy out, out a bit more, but... <laughs> Alrighty, so we're on the map uh, Redshire for this game. This is going to be interesting. Typically on Redshire, heavies like to play the zero line, especially like an E100 and stuff. So given the arty situation and how many mediums and, and whatnot they have, I'm going to play the middle. Um, and yeah. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm going to play in the middle. Uh, it appears we have a friend of mine trapped on the game, which is cool. But uh, typically, I, I, I see people go to the middle and just snipe people where the scent is. So that's that's what we're going to do, even though it's not my style for the beginning. But uh, hopefully he stays lit. Apparently not. <laughs> Damn it. Um, a lot of this. I'm not lit. He That was a blind shot. These guys do probably have six cents. So that, that he was just shooting at trees. Uh, hopefully the scout keeps scouting. It appears he's not going to, which is okay. It's not the end of the world, but you can see that's going to let their heavies get into position without us being able to do much. Um, obviously, they've got the Emma 3 at E3. I don't know if you can see that, but he's on the map right there. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go challenge him, and then we're going to see, because that STB1 and the E4's position, normally I'd expect the E4 to go to the zero line. It's going to be sort of tricky, because I don't want to lose 1,000 HP to the E4. Let's see what this guy does. Okay. This 4202 is going to get rushed, maybe, by the STB, so I'm prepared for that if I need to, but you can see he gets away, which is good. Hmm. They're so passive right now, and that, that makes me really worried. Because you can see I, I like to push into them. Uh, but when they've got this many passive players in the positions that they're in, like, I can't go push into an STB1, you know? So we're going to see. This RU might start to fall back now that he's lit. Apparently not. I can just put another shot into this guy. And now this STB looks like he's going to come into the fight, which is cool. Awesome. Get the kill. I wouldn't be surprised if the STB's poking this. Apparently he isn't though, which is really weird. I'm just gonna check before I commit to go shoot at these guys, right? I wanted to check that. There's a 69 over here. I'm watching the map to make sure the STB one doesn't like shoot me while I'm here. And you can see it's working out for me. Cool. So as I'm driving, like I, I just constantly watch my map and that's what I try to emphasize in my videos. I'm making sure that STB one isn't, you know, shooting the 4202 or whatever. Obviously, they're pushing the other side of the map, but uh, as long as I can do a decent amount over here, I'll be happy for the most part, I guess. Fuck. So I got lit, probably by the 69. The 4202 isn't spotting him anymore, uh, and I'm going to need to save my hit points, right? Obviously, they're pushing into our base. That's a huge problem. So <laughs> I'm going to put myself in a position to defend against that, and then we're going to go from there, I think. We have a ton of one shots. They're being my team is being held up by a two hundred HP grill. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> All right. T sixty nine. So in in a situation like this, you want to shoot the lowest HP if you can. Here's the my gun depression isn't working, but obviously you want to get rid of guns that can shoot back at you and people who can spot you and stuff like that. So that's that's why you'll notice I'm going to be shooting the one ten, for the most part, because he's got super low HP right now. Or, I mean, that guy, if I can hit him. <laughs> Hitting helps when you're shooting at stuff, I think. So this guy's more likely to spot me. It's logical to shoot at him. STB1's a threat, but he's full HP. I got lit. Uh, you can see that E100 was looking at me. So I'm just going to fall back. I don't really want to get farmed by the scent. Um, I'm sort of surprised the bulldog isn't spotting him, but I guess that's just how it is. Okay. Here's the STB. We can sort of use this gun depression here. The gun depression isn't perfect, right? Like a lot of people over ex like exaggerate how good gun depression is, but 
I think the gun handling on this is great. Good. <laughs> if I had missed that, that would have been hilarious. Um, so we're still in this position. I'm looking at the RU and I'm noticing he's down in the middle of here. So he isn't going to be spotting the people on the K line. It's really important to play to your team. Obviously, he he's not aware that I need him to be spotting that. So uh, he's not doing that. So I'm just staying safe because I know the scent. Look at that. The email snuck up on him. <laughs> what the hell? STB's not liking at me, but I sort of want to help out this scout right now. Even though it probably would be good to shoot out a tier 10 tank. So this guy's in a good position. He'll be behind us. Obviously, like capping on this map doesn't work too well, I think. I'm not super experienced when it comes to sitting on a cap circle, but we'll see. I just want to sort of help out the team right here. I'm shooting at whoever I can. Obviously, this isn't really the easiest position to be in right now. If I get shot, I'm going to start running. This guy, I want to turn him into a one-shot. Hopefully, he can get reset. You can see the email has started shooting at me, so I'm going to fall back. Uh, and E100. All right. STB's yellowing for resets, it looks like. I'm going to load heat here. Yeah, I should have. Oh, what the hell? How did that pen? Okay. That was lucky that that shot penned, but... <sighs> this game is too close, man. We have an email behind us, a scout, who's running away from a scent. Good, 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 good. So that E100 dying frees up a lot of space for me. I'm going to put a shot. No, he's going to stay there. Um... I'm going to continue to play this ridge like I have been. You can see this position allows me to get shots pretty much all over the map. I don't need heat for this guy. Okay, he spotted me, so I'm going to get safe. Don't want to get farmed by the email. And uh, we're going to see if we can keep picking off the one shots. Okay. Good. Oh, that's cool. You can use that rock to give you more... I didn't know that. That was a mistake, but it works out. Uh, and this is pretty much the game. So we're going to go after the Emil just to try to get maybe one or two more shots of damage to increase my mark of excellence. Alrighty, so in the end I killed the Emil. You can see 1400 base, 4500 damage, nearly 1000 base XP. Oh, 1400 XP, not base, pardon me. And uh, 14k profit. So on to the next. Uh, Muravanka encounters. So what I like to do on this map is I'll pop up and play the middle. Obviously this tank isn't the greatest at it, but I can make it work. Uh, so yeah, we're, we're just going to go for it. We'll see who's there. We can maybe spot the 100 is 7 uh, but it's also likely that they're going to play the two lines. So just going to play it by ear. I don't know who's going to go where. I expect the TDs to camp. That's about it. Um, and, and we'll left click on things. So yeah. Alrighty, so it looks like I'm about to get lit here. I want to put a shot into this bad shot and make him an easy kill, but I guess that doesn't work. You can see there's the mouse like I expected. There's the clicker, which I didn't expect. We're going to try to finish him off, though. Um, and a lot of this is just going to be playing to the situation and seeing if I can kill stuff. Obviously, like that, I didn't expect the Artie to be there, but it works. We're going to see if there's anything else. I expect the mouse to be a problem for me, though. He's in a bush. All right, there we go. He's not in a bush, apparently, but uh, as he crosses, this should be perfect. Now, they've got no arty for me to worry about, so I'm okay to stay here. You'll notice there's a scorpion on the minimap. He will eventually start having shots on me, uh, like this guy right here will have shots, especially if he moves up, so I have to keep that in mind when I'm playing. Um, but I'm, I'm not too worried right now. Just given the situation. I'm sure they're going to win the one too. You can see where the majority of their team is. Uh, and so just based off numbers, I can make that prediction. And then I'll take a blind shot right there. It might have been a bit too early, but whatever. So I'd like to start pushing this, but considering... One sec. Like, I don't know where all their TDs are, I guess. I don't know where the T95 is. So sort of worried that, you know, as I get late, I'll just take a shell from the T95. So I'm trying to be passive here and just play it safe. Now in this position, obviously, I still have to worry about the hill. There's the mouse who's going to slow us down, but it's a mouse. So um, there's that. As I get on cap, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, or as they get on cap, I'm going to start moving up like this instead of pushing the side I normally push. You can see I've got side, side shots-ish on the mouse. 
I'm going to have to load heat here to try to pen his turret, but this position should work. It gives me the ability to reset cap if I need to, but I also sort of want to help out my team with this mouse right here. Obviously, that guy's going to stall our push down the uh, zero line, which would be bad. All right, that bounced off his side. There's the 95. I might have shots in his side. That guy's a pain, too. So I'll shoot at him. And uh, I don't think the mouse is such a huge threat. I'm not worried about the cap uh, just yet. <laughs> um, so, yeah. That being said, we have no shots on anything. So you're going to see I'm just sort of slowly moving toward towards where I think there's going to be damage. This position might let me get shots on the people on cap. Um, so, yeah. I do have to worry about this IS-7, but to be honest, like I'm okay to take one hit for this position. I want to kill the Scorpion and the Ferdy if I get the chance, uh, but I am spotted, so I'll just auto-aim this guy. IS-3 is camping. Looks like a Scorpion's camping too, and that makes things difficult for myself. Now this guy hasn't really noticed me, so I'm not confident about shooting him, because if I shoot him, he will notice like where I am, and his position tells me he probably isn't the greatest player, so... Uh, if I shoot him, he'll find out where I am. But other than that, I'm not too confident that he'll actually that he knows I'm here. So that's uh, you know, it's just one of those things that you pick up on. He's still here. If I get shot by him, obviously I start shooting back. But sorry about the truck. So this 704 is pushing in. I expect the 30 to maybe run away. You'll notice I'm not being super aggressive here, and that's because there's like, you know, like I found out they've got a ton of tanks. This guy, whatever. Damage is damage, I guess. I'm not going to shoot this building down, even though I'm considering it. I just want to get a shot on this guy as he continues to fall back. You can see that's a shot right there. It's slim, but I'm okay taking it. Now, as I fall back, I might get lit. So we're just going to chill here for a while, I guess. I'm trying not to rhyme. <laughs> Everything I say is rhyming. Um, what the hell? Okay, that's confusing. They still have that T95, so I'm sort of not interested in pushing into a T95. What the fuck? <laughs> Something's going on outside. Uh, this game's close. You're gonna see that this position, if I were to push, I'd die right now and that could throw the game. This guy's looking at me, he misses. It looks like he went through my tank, but given the accuracy of a shot, I think I'm spotted even though I didn't see the six cents go off. As the 704 gets YOLO'd, I want to be in a position to help him out. Obviously, the 95 has moved, so that's pretty cool. Because I could push up. Like, that, I have the option to push up if I want to. This guy takes a shot at me. Um, I'd rather shoot at the Scorpion, though. And the, I have shots on neither, so I'm going to go for the Oho. And uh, we're just going to continue doing this. I'm going to load heat right now because the game is in the balance. We're about to lose a tier 9 tank. And they've got so much HP right now. It's sort of in their favor. Do I run away? I think I'll start backing up. I don't want to get spotted. Yeah. Oh, that's a house. How do I do this? This bush is strong. You can see I'm not lit. Oh, fuck. This is really strong. I've never played here before, but you can see how useful this is, using the bush to keep me unlit as I bounce heat off the side of the U100. There's 25 seconds left, so it's not the end of the world. If I have to, I'll YOLO in, but you can see they've got a couple tanks that I can actually do okay. I've got HE if I need to. I'll pen the side of the 95 right there. And once we kill the OHO, it'll be a bit closer for us. So I'm going to continue to play these bushes. This E50 is probably going to die. You're going to see I've only got 14 heat left. And the problem is the amount of HP that they have right now. <sighs> Fuck. And the amount of guns that we have. We're not going to win this. <laughs> it's going to be really hard to win this. Okay. I want to be in the bushes because I think the 100 might try to... Uh, do what he's doing. You can see if, if I was out of the bushes, he might spot me here. And that would not be good. I'm going to get killed by the 95. Okay, that's lucky. <sighs> I 
when on cap. So the 95 probably isn't chasing down the medium tank, but uh, I expect the E5 and the Type 4 to be trying to chase me down. Let's see if I can save the Oho. Good. I've only got a minute left. There's this cunt. Okay, good. He missed. So I'm going to cut around the north. <laughs> I don't know how to win this, man. I have to try to drive faster. If I was in a leopard or a bat shot, I think this could be a very easy win. But the E100 isn't a slow tier 10 heavy on a map that's flat like this. So he's going to be chasing me down. He's going to be like, there. Okay, it's the type on cap. Why are they capping now? I've got 15 seconds. Fuck. And I have to stay on the outside, which is bad because that even hundreds coming. I can't do it. <laughs> Damn it. Jeez, man. Oh, fuck. I don't even have heat loaded. I'm so bad. Jesus Christ. I threw the game right there. That's that's me throwing. I totally, like, we weren't going to win that, but if I had had heat loaded, it maybe I would have got the chance. Especially, you know, I might have been able to circle the Type 5 or something like that, but, you know, <laughs> that's a bad game. <laughs> now, I had a bad game in between. My, my graphics card crashed, so I did 2,600 damage. You can see even with that 2,600 damage game, we're still at 91, so it's slowly increasing, I guess. Alright, so this is a map a lot of people have trouble with, so I guess I'm okay recording this. Um, <laughs> I, I have a trouble with it too, but maybe I can, you know, give some sort of informative advice. Uh, so typically what I'll do in this map is I'll go and play the 9-0. Um, they're going to win the city. I can tell that because they've got an E100 and an IS-7, and if those two tanks lose to the Type 5, you know... <laughs> <laughs> it's it's probably not going to happen. So I think they're going to win the city. It might be super slow, but I think that's the eventual outcome. I'm going to try to do my best on the 9-0. Obviously, when they've got the Scorpion, ISU, and STRV and Ferdy, it's going to be challenging because those guys are going to probably back, be back at A6, A7, and A8. So, um, you know, that's, that's the perspective I... Uh, let's see. How did that mess? Anyways, that's the perspective that I have when I play in this map. Obviously, there's going to be scouts and whatnot who, who try to sui scout. But... Yeah. All right, so they've got an IS-7 playing field. That's a bit unorthodox, but uh, I just got out-traded by that guy. <laughs> um, this is not good for me. just got clipped out <sighs> okay so I guess this is a lesson I've done nothing <laughs> I'm pretty bad right now like look at my damage and my shots are missing already shot at me too um, we're just gonna give up this side because they sent an IS-7 over here I'm, I'm not beating I'm not winning like a 6v2 especially when we've got you know people camping behind us so I bounced <laughs> Normally the, the pattern can do a good job of hitting these kinds of shots, but I guess in this case it didn't happen. So in, in this case, given my hit points and given the the map and where they are and where my team is, I'm just going to be sort of sniping for now. You can see we're losing the field, but I just sort of want to do the best I can. I'm not going to be pushing anywhere with uh, half my hit points gone. So there's, you know, that able to put some shots out i expect to get lit here so you can see what the hell was that that was a blind shot interesting this guy's gonna spot me i'll put a shot into him and then get this game man i don't know why i'm not lit currently but i don't mind i'm not complaining but i'm just gonna keep trying to shoot these guys Artie's gonna die that guy just lost a thousand hp um this probably isn't gonna be a close game given given the map <laughs> we still haven't pushed through the city. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, I still have to try to hit 4k. Good. 
done a thousand. I haven't taken a hit yet. This is where I'm gonna start to take hits, obviously, right? Like I'm on the front lines for a team right now. So, you know, I'm okay with that. It's an inevitability. Just gonna have to do my best right here. He's gonna try to maybe take us. Okay, that works. Now these guys will suddenly realize they're getting flanked from the other side of the map. And that's gonna be really good because now they can start turning around. Um, but that's going to make us weak to every flank around us. You're going to see their D100 starting to push up. Uh, and he's going to sort of be able to do that. <laughs> now this guy, I want to shoot him while he's reloading. IS-3 is not pressuring me, which is awesome. I've only done 2.3k damage. So I need to try to hit like 4k or so. you can see i'm just trying my best right here i've written this obviously this is a loss like you know that's that's pretty inevitable at this point but just doing the best i can this guy's gonna hit me yeah uh... now this guy's probably the biggest threat because he actually knows i'm here you can see he's been shooting at me but i expect him to die <sighs> already shooting at me <laughs> i love this game <laughs> So, I mean, not much of a, a guide. It just shows that these games happen. I don't know why Artie, you know, I was in the open for Artie, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, I don't think there's a whole lot I could have done. <laughs> um, I guess I'll end it here. I, I don't want to make these videos too long. Like, I, I have other videos and other replays that I want to cover. But, uh, yeah, we'll take a look at the end plates, and then we'll go from there. So that was 4,200 damage. I mean, I did hit my 4K damage goal. You can see I did two times more than everyone. I mean, it, I'm not, you know, talking shit about these guys. I'm just looking at it in, in perspective. Like, I, I I did two times more than everyone else on my team. Um, and when that happens, it's going to be a loss. So, I mean, shit happens. I'm not going to let it face me. But I'm going to cut the video here. I don't want to make these, like, hour-long streams. It's just, like, me playing a tank for a bit and seeing how it goes. You can see I'm up to 91.3. So I sort of hope to keep increasing this mark of excellence as time goes by eventually all three markets so yeah 38 57 damage per game 66 percent win rate so um yeah th thanks for watching i mean i've never really done these i hope you guys don't like i hope people like the live gameplay i'm not really sure about it but uh it's you know <laughs> the, the only way to get better at stuff is trying things out so i hope you enjoyed this video if you want to see more be sure to hit the like and the subscribe button and i hope to see you around later guys Bye bye